Welcome back to Alpine Garage Sports. Coach Prime just received a $250,000 bonus just for being him. And some media outlets are asking, was that a slap in the face? We'll talk about that and more on this episode of Alpine Garage Sports. So welcome back, all of you Alpine enthusiasts and Colorado Buffs fans. We're a little more than a month away from the opening of season, and there's going to be a whole lot happening since camp starts next week, and, and there's a lot going on. I'm going to try to be out in Boulder a couple of times during this as well. Obviously, you've got plenty of other media channels that are going to be out there, but I just like to go out there and hang out, and you know, you might not even see a whole lot from me out there. A week ago-ish, found out that Coach Prime received a bonus, which is really cool. So I wasn't really going to do anything on this, but the fact that I'm seeing more and more media coming out talking about whether or not that was something that was a slap in the face to Coach Prime or if he should have received more money or maybe he shouldn't have received any, I thought I'd weigh in on the subject because you guys know that's what I do. So I wanted to talk about this from a business perspective because the, the business of football is as intriguing to me as the games. Believe it or not, it really is. Really almost anything that is done on a football field, either professionally or in the college ranks, is all born out of money. Somehow somebody's making money off of this and that's how they keep this whole program going. So for Coach Prime to receive a basically a bonus for not being in the contract is pretty cool now let's look at his contract first before we really go into a whole lot else and i apologize if it's windy outside we got a storm coming in uh but his his uh pay is 5.5 million dollars for the first year and it goes for five years which is 29.5 million dollars i think we all know that the, the small fine print is $150,000 for achievement of securing six victories in a single season, an additional $100,000 for every win beyond the initial six, $150,000 if Colorado wins the fiercely competitive Pac-12, which it was pretty fierce, and enticing $75,000 for participating in the Pac-12 championship game. The prospect of national recognition with a $150,000 bonus if he earns the title of National Coach of the Year. A $75,000 bonus reserved for the Pac-12 Coach of the Year accolade. And the academic prowess of the team is not forgotten with $50,000 bonuses for each instance which Colorado attains a team academic progressive rate of 965. So, that said, nowhere in there is a marketing bonus. So, let's talk about this $250,000 marketing bonus. So, this is... At $343 million last year in media revenue is outstanding. To kind of give you some like some balance, 2022 we were 87 million, so about four times the amount of revenue. Now I knew know that Coach Prime and I know that the University of Colorado knew that Coach Prime was gonna come in here and create a media wave. That's what he does anywhere he goes, and he was gonna do that here. I honestly don't feel like anybody knew it was going to be as big as it was. Now, you can only imagine if we had carried into a bowl game or something. I mean, it would have been maybe over $500 million. Who, who knows what the number would have been. But just in the small amount of wins that we had in the year, Coach Prime was able to parlay a huge payday for the University of Colorado. Now, $250,000. Not his contract, right? That is 0.073%. So it's not even like 0.1%. Okay, it's not 1%, it's not 0.5%, it's not 0.1%, it's not 0.01%, it's 0.073%. So obviously, it's not a percentage of the whole media take. That, that was not going to happen. It was basically, this is a discretionary bonus that they're calling an employee recognition bonus for Coach Prime's hard work and dedication to marketing the University of Colorado and basically allowing for all of its social media channels to explode, allowing for ESPN, Fox, and ABC essentially to carry nine games this last year. Okay, so that was huge. Fox Noon, Fox Big Noon kickoff and ESPN were out here several times during the year, which I followed on my channel. You go back and look at those super, super awesome four o'clock in the morning episodes. And then we are carried on national channels like ABC. So at this point, Coach Prime had lit the fuse 
by bringing in his own, I say, own media, like social media channels like Wolof Media, the pregame show, uh, Reach the People Media. There were at least 20 YouTube channels that really kind of marketed the University of Colorado and Coach Prime as well, with me being one of those, uh, to kind of light that fuse to get into the season in which we turned over an entire roster staff uh, turned over basically all the coaches, started from scratch. So it was a very intriguing story. And so that's a lot of the reason why. But this was all born out of Coach Prime. This was actually, let, let's, let's give accolades where they're due. This was all born out of Rick George's vision of where the University of Colorado should be. And that Coach Prime was going to be the coach that came in here and saved Colorado football. And so far, it looks like we are on the right track. So kudos to you, Rick George. Kudos for this bonus. Now, here's the question. Here's, here's, here's the big question. Is this a slap in the face? Now, this SI article does not say it's a slap in the face, so I want to make sure that's true. But when I saw that, the clickbait title, I don't know call it clickbait, but the title that was very, you know, inspirational to me clicking on a button made me start thinking about it. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are probably like, you know, Coach Prime should have probably got 1.5%, very tiny amount, 1.5% of the 100% of the marketing because really it was all born on him, right? 1.5%, just to do the math for you, is $5.145 million. It almost eclipses his salary for this year, right? What about 0 0.5? 0 0.5 is a great number. 0.5%, almost nothing. Probably could have thrown that in the contract and CU probably would have said, you know what? Yeah, we'll do 0 0.5 if you bring some marketing to the University of Colorado. That was $1.715 million. So $250,000 slap in the face? I'm still going to say no, guys. I don't think it was. Now, being in the business world and understanding kind of how these bonuses work, these discretionary bonuses, a lot of times that are given... And some people look at him and go, you know, what's this, you know? But really, the pragmatic of us look at it and say, I wasn't expecting it, and I appreciate the fact that you appreciate what I'm doing. And $250,000 is not a small number. I mean, keep in mind that you can buy houses in almost any state for $250,000, okay? Probably not a house that Coach Prime's going to live in, but a house that I would live in, a house that most of us would live in. It's a, it's a good amount of money. Now, for those who are extravagant, which is blowing on things, a 2024 Bentley Continental GT is $250,000. Coach Prime would look really good driving around, you know, Texas and Boulder and anywhere else in it. The car that I see him in, I think, I think every person's got a spirit car. That's why you see Alpine Garage Sports is that I have a garage and I restore cars and motorcycles. Everybody's got a spirit car. I believe that Coach Prime's spirit car, even though he likes Detroit Steel, and I'll still think a, a 64 Impala is right up his alley, I want to say that a 1953 Mercedes-Benz 220 Cabriolet in tuxedo black and white, that is his car. And guess what? You can get it for $250,000. You are welcome, Coach Prime. Now, if you really wanted to, to, to reach out and, and get like the coolest thing, would be my 1973 Ford Bronco that has an engine swap in it. And it's going to probably make close to 500 horsepower. That truck will be available for two hundred fifty grand, Coach Prime. Just saying, when I get it done on my other channel, Alpine Garage. So, that said, there's a whole, a whole lot of things. You can even go to Vail for a week and no expenses, all the greatest amenities at the finest establishment in Vail, and you still have change left over for two hundred fifty grand. So, at this point, I think it's a, it's a great... Bonus that the University of Colorado gave Prime for something that everyone knew was going to happen. And I bet you Coach Prime appreciates it. Now, that said, year three is the renegotiation year for his contract. And I'm just going to throw it out there, Coach Prime. See if you can get 0.5 or 1.5 marketing revenue in there in the contract and then do your thing. Just keep doing your thing. Keep building the program. Keep doing your thing. That $343 million next year could be eclipsing $600 million. So, so do, and then the year after that, I mean, you could be, you could be approaching close to a billion dollars in extra revenue just in media. So at this point, 
I think he's got the tiger by the tail. Now I'm going to leave you with a quote from another Big 12 coach, Mike Gundy from Oklahoma State University. Some of you may know him, some of you may not, some of you may respect him, some of you may not. He's a very outspoken coach, and he's been there for 20 years, so he's kind of established in the Big 12. And he made a quote that I thought was very relevant to this situation. And his quote was, I think we're lucky in our league that he is with us because he brings more people and notoriety and viewers to the Big 12 Conference. And that's what makes it go. We need viewership. We want people to watch our teams play. That is it, guys. We love fans. Fans are great. Everybody's great. But if we don't have people watching football, people don't play. These players don't get an opportunity. So Mike Gundy sees it the way that it is, which is Coach Prime is going to be a dominating force on the field, but he's also going to lift every single school in this conference. And Mike Gundy knows it. We play them on Black Friday in November, and it's going to be the last game of the season. They're expected to have a great year. We're expected to have, as far as I'm concerned, a great year. This may be the clash of the Titans on the very last game of the season going into the Big 12 title. Who knows what's going to happen, guys? This is totally exciting. Congratulations, Coach Prime, on your well-earned bonus, and we will see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you already haven't and leave your comment down below. Do you think this $250,000 was a slap in the face or well-earned?